So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Uh, this is a live stream with live peoples on New Year's Day evening um, or day or afternoon, depending on where you are on the planet. I've um, I bought three. And I've zoomed in, so I apologise. I bought three Bennett Klein colour my sketchbook books. And I didn't really want to do the same boring um, watercolouring that I normally do, but I wanted something a bit different. And I've been looking through my stash recently um, to de-stash stuff, because I've been collecting for 40 odd years. And I found some Derwent pastel pencils, a portrait set of 36 pencils. And I was thinking, oh, I shall give these to my girls. Um, but I had a bit of a play with them, and I actually quite like them. So they're very pale, obviously, but they're pastel colours. They're for portraiture. And uh, it says Geranium Lake. Well, I have a Geranium Lake in the Derwent pencils, uh, and it's quite vibrant. So this one, uh, they're kind of very mm. muted, pale pastel colours. And pastel pencils, as in it's a pastel in a pencil form. Um, so I actually want the full set now. Uh, but I thought this would be perfect for this little book. So I'm not sure what the paper's going to do with it because it's supposed to have a, a key. Uh, you need a bit of a tooth or a bit of a, a rough paper to take any kind of pencil, uh, pastel. So I'm hoping it's not going to smudge too much. So I've zoomed right in because I quite fancy doing that little rose at the top because I would think that if you are using these pastels and you put your hand on things you are going to smudge. So I'm left handed so I'm going to kind of start from the top and across. Um, so I'm going to just start with this. I've got Crimson Lake and Geranium Lake and I've got a little bit of photocopy paper because uh, I'm not used to the colours so I wanted, um, that's a little bit pinky but I kind of like those two, so I've got kind of a, a Geranium Lake 15D, which is kind of a, a salmony pink. And there's no real points on these pa pa pencils, because my daughter's used them, so they've, they've lost that very fine point, but I don't really want to put a fine point on them. Um, so I'm going to actually just go in where all the little lines are. And the wonderful things about somebody else's sketches is, especially if it's grayscale, they've done all the hard work for you. I think that actually is a leaf. Um, so I'm just going to do that little bit there. And I, I do this with the... Uh, Kirby Rosans, I only do what I can see. If I'm not sure about a leaf or a mark, I'll leave it, then colour this in, and then if I'm still not sure, I'll leave it to last. And then I'll think, oh, well, actually, that was a, that was a petal. I should have done that. But if it wasn't, sometimes I've actually done that uh, on the bunny page in Imagimorphia. And I thought, I'm sure that's um, a stem. And I filled it in, it wasn't. It was a bunny paw. So, you know, you, sometimes it's quite good to be... A little bit cautious. So again I've never done this before apart from a few minutes ago I had a bit of a play um, and I didn't think I'd be able to use these because pencils are really difficult for me to use but they're quite soft so they kind of just kind of disintegrate on the page so if you've got dodgy fingers and thumbs like me it's not too bad. Now, I think that I shouldn't have coloured that one in. But I can get away with it, I think. So we need a little bit on the outside there and there. Oh, and on there as well. Um, and then I found these blending tools, which again I've had for quite a while. So I'm going to. That one's probably got a bigger point, but it's quite a nice, handy size. It sits in your hand quite nice. Now these are pastels, so I'm just going to see if I can just kind of blend that in. Now, I'm pretty sure I've got finer ones. Um, and again, it's a bit of a squashy kind of 
eraser but not an eraser at the end so again it moves so you don't have a lot of pressure on your hands um, the blend is really really soft I, I would be happy with a finer one but of course that gets me back into being Little Miss Little Miss 10 zero pen again so I didn't really want to do that but I quite like that I don't actually know what it looks like on the thing yet. We just have a look in my little book bag. I've got some. Oops, I've forgotten. I don't remember yesterday. I've got some little kind of. Uh, the, we used to call them torsions or torsions, and they're for blending. Um, they're for blending charcoal and things. But I just thought I do have quite a few of the other ones as well. Again, I'm pretty sure, it's, sorry about the noise, I'm pretty sure I bought these at the works. Uh, and again, they look, they've got wedges. Oh, that's a good one, look, you see, but they're quite squidgy. So let me just have a look at this one, because that's a bit of a tight space, is that? So this one, it, oh, it's a little bit too soft, actually, so I'm probably better. Yeah, no, this one is a the, the this one is um, a colour shaper, royal silver near. So it probably, and it says it's a number six taper point, uh, firm, and I think, I think I actually like that one. Um, so let me just take the darker. Um, that's geranium lake. What have we got down here? There is a little bit of terracotta, so I'm just going to see what the terracotta looks like next to this one. Yeah, now that is quite, quite a nice uh, kind of deep colour. So you wouldn't normally put these together, but because I've seen them together on that little piece of paper, I'm happy with it. And sometimes you have to do that sometimes and again just a little bit so I, I kind of like this because again it's a little bit easier for me I don't want too much so again I'm just going to see if I can smudge that through so that's quite nice um, yeah I like a little bit more control than I have so I like that I like the firmer one. I'm sure I've got some small ones somewhere. But I wanted to see how long it took me to do this because I can do the watercolours and be kind of a long time, but I would have liked to have got this done fairly quickly. So it's it's not perfect, but it's coloured in and I quite like that and it's a nice pastel colour. So if anybody's got any questions, pop them in caps. Oh, hi, Korea. What else have we got? Anybody else? Oh, Carrie. You have to forgive me, I'm squinting. <laughs> I'm on a different laptop than I normally am, and everything's all over the place. So I want a nice green now. So when you look at this section, you see there's quite a few greens in this. There's there's a, a green umber, an olive green, hooker's green, a terra verde green and forest green. And then we've got a dark olive and a may green. Oh, my, that's a lot of greens. And because I've never used them properly, I need to just have a bit of a play. So we've got, we've got hooker's green. And that's olive green. So where was the dark olive? This is dark olive. So I actually like the hooker's green with the other one, actually. So 
we've got quite a lot of greens um, because a lot of shadows on your face are green as well people use green that's almost a blue color so I'm going to put that one back because I don't really want that it's for leaves oh that's a nice one if it's a bluey kind of oh and that's a nice one as well so we've got quite a few going there what's that one mm. so that one is a may green so I actually quite like that so I'm going to just put a little bit of that on here and mm, that's a little bit too blue for me that hooker's green they've made it a little bit mm, not not really really green and i'm not sure about the olives for this particular one so what does that leave us it's a green umber it's a bit of another dark olive on that one um Yeah, we've got, and again the forest green. I think I'm actually going to go back to the hooker's green. So we've got that one, and we've got um, it's, it's it's almost an olive, is that? So I'm going to put those three together because they're definitely olive. And I'm going back to Hooker's Green just to go in the middle. Mm. No, I don't like that. I'm actually going for the dark olive, I think. No, not the dark olive. Green Umber. Strange name for a green. But... And then I'm just going to blend that. And the one thing I forgot to do is to clean it. So they're very, very, very subtle shades of these. Very, very pale. So because I've got these two pencils out, I'm just having a look for the other leaves. I think that might. I think I wanted that to be kind of brown, but I think that's going to be quite nice in olive colours because there's a lot of those. So I'm going to do this one. I think once I get used to the colours, I can be a lot faster. <laughs> and then I must remember to clean the end with a baby wipe, otherwise I'm just transferring. And then it has to be very dry. And this is quite nice to just, just push that up there just that little bit more. Um, there's one here again, so and I quite like the fact I've only got two pencils out instead of a lot. They are very chalky these because they are literally pastels, so it's like having some fancy chalks in your hand. Um, so if I just put those to one side, I had two olives, and I've got this hooker's, not hooker's green, oh, not hooker's green, yes it was hooker's green, no, green umber, I don't know what I've done with hooker's green now, I've popped it somewhere. So if I look back onto here, I've got this one, and then I've got dark olive. And then I've got light olive, or just olive green. Well, I think the olive green is possibly a little bit, I prefer those two together than the actual olive. So I'm going to change and I'm going to go for these two. Because I don't think that's deep enough, so you're not going to notice it. So I've got that colour and that colour. So this is the pale one. And 
This is the darker one. So again, I'm just very carefully going from light, all the light first. And then once you've done all the light ones, you can then squish in the dark ones. I probably could do the smaller blender. Oh, quite like that. Just bear with me two as if I think I would like it if I had. If I had a proper blending tool. Do list. I'm sure there is a little box and it's full of blending tools. to find it today. It's so annoying when you know you've seen something and you know it should be better. Isn't that logical? Everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, well, that's something else on my Christmas list that I didn't get. I have to buy myself some blending, some blending tools. about that. I just thought I could find some blending tools but I'll have to have this one. Um, so these colours are going to actually go all the way around so just check them on the pale one. I think they might have a little bit of a highlight up there so I possibly could do it a little bit lighter. It's a good idea of keeping your hand in the right order and then you don't get too much. And then the, the dark olive can kind of go everywhere else. first 
It's quite nice. It's very well behaved, I have to say. It's quite nice, this. Just manoeuvring a light dusting of pastel. If I had a smaller blending tool, I'd probably do a better job, but I just can't put my hands on them at the moment. And the others are too squishy. And then finish off with a darker one. So again, I was a bit worried about this particular box because it's thin paper. This should be quite nice. And this particular one here, I think that's going to be olive as well. And then the butterfly, I think I'm going to do in the purples. I think I'm going to do in the purples. Or maybe, I don't know, I'll have to see when I get to them. I'm going to do this. I'll do this particular one next because I'm, I'm conscious of the fact that my hand's going to be on it. Um, so I'm trying to get these in order because they look different. So that's the middle one and that's the palest one and that's the darkest one. So I'm trying to keep them in order. So I'm going to do the palest one first. So the middle of all the white um, and the top and then, oops, I've broken that one, oh, that's not good, and then everywhere else is going to be, everywhere that's white is going to be, everywhere else that's white is going to be the next colour. So if there's any white, I'm going to cover it in with that one. And then anything that's got a shadow and shaded in is going to have the darkest one. <laughs> and then the blending tool is going to do everything else for me. So I would do this and then have a damp brush. Oh, hi Kate, welcome to Bunny's Designs. Uh, the bookworm, anybody else I've missed? Welcome to Bunny's Designs. I'm using the uh, Derwent pastel pencils, um, but I'm using the portrait set because I've had these a long, long time. And I was looking at things to give to my girls for art school. Uh, she's going to art uni. And um, I'd forgotten about these. And I was going to think about giving them, but I don't think she'll like them. Um, and I was also a bit, bit worried about using the same technique in these. Uh, I've got all three. I think there's five. I think there's five of these uh, Bennett Klein, Bennett Klein color book, color my sketchbook. And this, I think, is the first one. It just says 25 grayscales. Uh, but I, I was a bit naughty oh, before Christmas and. Uh, I bought myself three of them. Um, that's the worst thing about Amazon. It says, oh, do you realize that if you buy all three, you could have them for such and such. <laughs> and the, my hovering finger must have just tapped the button. But I'm quite enjoying these, actually. Um, and there's no key to this paper. It's very flat. So for a pastel pencil, they're behaving themselves extremely well. And I love the muted colours because, again, I, I've got ink tens I've got um, that I can do fine detail with, but I didn't want know what to do in this book. Um, and I just, when I saw these, it was like, oh, wow. <laughs> the only problem is I've only got a set of 30, uh, 36. So I'm going to have to go out and buy 
another set. Um, so I'm just going to put those two down here. And I've got from Derwent a little, um, it's called um, a sharpening guard. And what it does is you put your broken pencil on here. And you can sharpen it with a blade. I would say the best one would be um, a Stanley knife because you can change the blades quite safely. These um, are a little bit, this little bit um, kind of sharp. <laughs> so you start and you, you move the pencil, and so you can, your pencil knife gets to the back of the plastic and your fingers are safe and you very carefully twist it with the other finger um, but I'm actually going to do that off camera because I've got such a mess over this side and I don't think it's going to take me a long time actually What I've been doing is actually saving. I've been taking the wood off, which you can't do if you use a pencil sharpener. And then I've been getting to um, a kind of a big fat stick of colour inside. Um, and then what you do is you, I did it here, so this is the same colour I think olive green. I'll just do it here just in case it isn't. And I'm scraping the colour off. So I've got rid of the wood and now I just want to point. But I can't bear to throw this colour away. And pastels are water colour, water based. And, and I'm afraid I do it the opposite way. I pull the pencil back rather than the other way. But this is very And when you get to a certain point, you can kind of twisting the pencil all the while to get an even. And these have actually dried. I've done three tonight because uh, the three pencils broken. So all this is pure colour, and there's no pencil. Um, shavings because they're all here because I've taken the wood off at a different space and then you need a couple of dollops drops of water and then you mix that oops, and you mix it until it becomes a watercolour and then you let it dry and then that just becomes a little pan of watercolour. So I'm going to pop that up there to dry. I don't have a flat surface. <laughs> oh, goodness me. And so you've got a little bit of a point on there now. And I think my daughters use a pencil sharpener, so that's why you don't use a pencil sharpener. So I'll go back to my three colours, but these are about six pounds, and it has a little bit of rubber strips on there, so it won't move. Um, so again, I just have to see in which order. And that's the right order, so it's that. So this is the palest one. So again, and you can change colours, you don't have to do the same colours I'm doing, I just, um, I'm not sure if I want that to be that colour at all, it seems to be quite a lot, and that'll look quite nice next to that butterfly, and the palest, hair maybe, um, So 
So I'm trying to put the palest where I think all the light would be, even though this is fantasy. And then everywhere else that's white is getting the next kind of green colour. And they're only little little soft strokes. So I'm quite enjoying that. It's nothing too strenuous. And then everywhere that's kind of got the shadow, which is a grey scale, so you know where it's all going to be dark. Just kind of putting a little bit of a, a mark on there. It would probably be easier if I had a sharp point, but it doesn't worry me too much. And then very carefully, um, as it would help if I had a smaller one of these, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> So I don't have the full set of these uh, Bennett Klein books. There's, I think there's a dark one, um, and then there's the four. Um, but um, my husband never knows what to buy me, so he erred on the caution and didn't get me anything. So he's in the doghouse. <laughs> Bless him. Well, he did. He got me. He got me some bits, and I bought quite a few things for the girls to wrap up for me. So I got ten colour books, so I can't complain. But I didn't get any surprises. So I think Mr. Bennett's next books are going to be on order. I quite like that. I like the shadows for that. Well, I've got asthma, so I, I could not use those. Um, so, um, they're not too bad. I am blowing up there. <laughs> I keep blowing the dust away. And it's not, it's not doing so badly. Um, but there isn't very much, if you can see when I'm doing it. It's not very much. And I'm not sure what would happen if I smudged it. Um, in fact, I've actually got some yellow there. Look somewhere, but it's a, it's it's and it's quite it's a lot faster than I thought it would be actually. Um, it's a lot faster, so that's quite nice because again, you know, I don't want to be messing about. It would be faster if I had a smaller. So that's the pay list. That's the next one, and that's the next one. Right, I keep forgetting that. Um, And I've not done this before, so I'm obviously a bit more cautious. I'm hoping to get a little bit faster. And again, I'm just trying to think where the light would be for the lightest one. I think you only need three, really. Three would be good. And if you look on this, on the lid of this, it actually says that you do get three of a lot of colours in the full set. So obviously that's the norm. You've got the highlight you've got uh, the main colour and then you've got a shadow or a low light. Um, I just really like the pale colours, they're quite nice. Oh, and I've just made a mistake because I'm just actually putting that on the darkest. But it doesn't matter because what it means is I will have a better blend. Again, I probably could do a, possibly a slightly better point. Um, I haven't decided what to do with the backgrounds, but I don't know what these pastels are going to behave themselves or not, so. Um, just the next one. And then the darkest. There is a tiniest bit of dust. The reason I'm blowing it out of the way is I want to um, blend. Uh, 
they don't seem to be as bad. Um, only certain things set me off. It's quite funny, but yeah. So. But I think that's because it's pencil. But you can also, as I say, use them. You could do this, and then you could get a damp brush, and you can manipulate it, and you can use it as a watercolour. You could do that. Um, I'm just using this particular as a different a different way. Um, I wouldn't do the water in this particular book because it'll crinkle. But if you're not bothered about crinkling, um, but again, I haven't done this. But the best thing to do is to photocopy. Um, is to photocopy a page. And use it with watercolor. Use it with a water, not a water brush, but a damp brush. Color it in with watercolor pencil, pastel pencils, and then see how crinkly it is. And by the time you've done a full page, you will know just how much dampness to use in order to keep your lovely page flat. I mean, I should have done that with this because I've never used these like this before. So, you know, this is a bit of a learning thing for me. But I quite like that, I have to say. Uh, they, they do behave very well. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, to use Amazon... Wish list. I know, but my husband doesn't have Amazon and he doesn't know how to get on it. <laughs> no, I, I, I left, this is my last whinge, I left my empty bottle of Chanel by the bed a month ago, if not two months ago, I think, saying, oh, I wish this was full. Oh, I've run out now. <laughs> and it's still there, but anyway, bless him. You can't have everything. Actually, I'm not going to put any highlight on that one because it's all kind of dark, I think. You can't have everything. You can't have everything. He brings me cups of tea and he's wonderful, so you can't have everything. And then I want a little, a little tiny bit. Oh, I'm going to put that paper on there then, that's much. Um, I'm just going to put that bit down there because I kind of want all that dark. Because I think that's underneath the butterfly. So I'm just going to tease that in. So I haven't got much of a highlight on there because it's all kind of smushy dark I must have had these pens a long time because I, I wouldn't buy them if I've got asthma so uh, and I didn't have asthma before I came to live here either I went to came to live in the country and I got asthma That's quite funny could be allergies I suppose If I had a small one, I did find a little pink, a little pink torsion, didn't I? And I have to keep removing to clean it because it's just have a quick it's just a little bit too fine, but I'm sure there was a funny little pink thing in there somewhere. funny little pink one in here look for makeup or something I don't know what it's for but it's small oh, well it does work but I, I think I prefer yeah I prefer the other one I think I think I prefer the other one Using cleaning a baby wipe and then uh, making sure that the ends kind of 
skunk. It's not too bad. It's just I'm used to being working with a lot smaller things, so you've just got to be a bit more careful. But it is blending it. It is actually moving the colour around. You don't think it is until you look. So you just mix that up a little bit. And then it should be good. My other daughter's gone away this today, so you see you can take the colour around there. So you can tell it's definitely picking up colour. You wouldn't think it's it is. Um, I probably would have liked a tiny better highlight on there if I wanted to do it perfectly, but it's the first one, so you know it's, it's never going to be exactly perfect. The first, the first go you have, um, and I've never used these colours before, so you know it's it's a bit of a learning curve. I'm going to do the rose there. Just make sure that I'm actually in frame. So with the rose, I used um, carmine and geranium lake. Oops, I only used two for the rose. So where it's pale, I'm going to use pale. So there is definitely some dust coming off it because it's a pastel, but of course it doesn't go all over your fingers. I think that's a leaf. I made that mistake over there, but I didn't rectify it. I'm pretty sure that's a leaf. It's not a petal. Um, I think that is. Um, I think that's a petal and then we've got some dark in there I mean you can have sharper pencils if you want uh, but it really does want to be um, you want to save them if you can Going with the first palest one, and again, you, I wouldn't have thought it would work, but it obviously does. And I'm just going to tease a bit down there so that I've got just a little bit of colour on there, and then tease that down. You all right? Sorry to disturb you. No, it's all right, darling. What do you want, darling? Just making sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. To take the dogs out in a minute. Oh, but that's I'm nice for you. <laughs> uh, you're going to leave Alfie. Alfie, I'm going to get her back. Oh, okay, don't. I'll just carry on for another. Uh, but another. Well, I wanted to actually finish this page, but let's see. We'll see how we get on. Okay, I'm darling. Going to. I'm going to work tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay, darling. I'll be streaming tomorrow morning. I think. Right. So it's not quite as dark as that one. So I've obviously not put as much. Darken. There seems to be a little bit more dark than. Did I have a different one? I didn't think I had. No. I just put a little bit more dark in there. Um, again, I would think you can just kind of go over the top. slightly better but it's always probably better to put too much light than too much dark that's matched up a little bit better <laughs> Whoopsie! You must have had him a long time. Right, so I'm going to, put, I'm going to leave those that way around so I know what colours I used. Um, I just want to have a play with the butterfly, so I think I'm going to go for purples. 
So I have my little trusty bit of paper. And, oh, I don't know, I've just found a blue. So there's that blue, and then there's Prussian blue. So there's two blues, they're quite nice. I did envisage a purple, but never mind. It's not going to be. And one other. French grey. I don't really want a grey. I don't think purple's going to... No. No, no, I don't know. Sometimes you just got to have a bit of a play. I did envision having... Hmm. I do like these two, and I can get a third colour out of these two, if I'm clever, <laughs> hopefully. So, where it's very, very pale, we'll have this colour. And then when it's very dark, we'll have this colour. And we'll kind of see if we can play it like this and give it a bit of a, a smooshy I might I think I'm gonna to have to go over those so. seem to have got I don't know, you have to play again, you'll have to forgive me, this is the first one so I'm going to have to go over those little it's the first one so it's, it's probably not going to be as pretty um, you can't really see a colour on there you can't really see a colour. So I, can, I just need a bit of a bit of a blue. I think I might have to have that one. And yeah, I'm going to put that one away because that one is a definite grey, and this is a bit of a blue. Let's see if we can mix these together. I don't know if that's going to work. You don't have to have the house phone, do you? It's probably in my handbag, darling, when I carried it down. Did you bring your mum back? No. Right. Um, could you get me? Yeah. Did you change the water for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's all right. No, no, it's fine. I don't want any more of that now. I'll be pickle pickled. <laughs> um, that's it there, isn't it? Here. Oops, it's nearly dry, that paint. No. So I've got... It's nearly dry. So I've got some quite nice paint. Is it not there? It, if it's not there, it's in the... Um, you carry the laptops down. It's in the laptop. Press the button. Is it beeping? Is it in the side pocket here? Is that? I just can't reach over. Is it in there? I normally carry everything down at once. Sorry about that. <laughs> I carry everything down at once. Hi Dorothy, welcome to Bunny's Designs. 
all the fibs. We've got some wonderful, oops, wrong, wrong one. Wonderful fibbies. Shut the door, darling, please. We have to shout because Grandma's a bit deaf. Bless her, she's 90 odd. And she's quite deaf, so we have to shout. But <laughs> oh, I quite like that colour. I'm not sure what it's going to look like at the end, but again, sometimes you just go with them and you see. So um, I like this dark, but I think I might get away with a little bit more in there. A little bit more darkness, I think. I think maybe a little bit more darkness. Um, maybe just a touch more. And then I like this one as well. But I think I'm just going to use two and then blend that one but again i'm not sure what i'm going to do with the the center uh, the little kind of markings not quite sure uh, so it doesn't seem to be a, i must have some yellow on my hand that's the second time i've done that it doesn't seem to be affecting me asthma wise uh, the pencil because uh, these are pastel but i think it's because i'm not kind of wasting too much And they're going to be a little bit more structured, as in whatever's holding them together. There's going to be more of it than in a pencil, in, in a pastel, because in a pastel they kind of just kind of chalk away to nothing. But um, I might actually try to do a portrait of my daughter. I, I haven't done portraiture for a long time. I might just have to have a go again. Oh, so I quite like those colours. They're looking quite nice. Because they're very, very muted. Very muted. Um, I just think that the purple could could ruin it. And I think this is far, this says it's ultramarine. But it's very pale. Let me just see what ultramarine does. It might just actually be just what we want. just takes that off starkness it's not quite purple but it's warm oh yes I think that might just do so I'm quite pleased that I found another fairly quiet way of working which is completely different to what I was doing earlier um, yes I, I like these colors now I'm not sure what I probably should have done is all these pale dots before I mean, you can obviously see that this is definitely not ultramarine. <laughs> um, but in the pastel world, the pale, as in pale pastel colour, and in the pastel world, it clearly is, because it's giving a lovely, just warm colour, where the other one is just slightly cooler. And so that's working really quite nicely. I might have to do something else with those we'll have to see. Um, so Suzanne said she found them on Amazon for a hundred and did you say a hundred and some? Hundred and sixty-four. Mm. I will be buying them in singles, I think. Uh, but again, you've got to be lucky and get things from eBay. And I always look at eBay on things on my phone so I can pinch and zoom. And I look at scenes and zips and things. I did that with my Filofax. And one or two have said perfect. And the Filofax prongs were kind of like this, skew with. So um, again, it's quite good to use pinch and zoom. Now, I have three... I have the leaves again here, but that was a different leaf, wasn't it? That was the paler one I liked. I think I'm going to put that onto there. And I'm actually going to see if I can rescue this. It's not going to probably work, but we never know. I'm just 
going to leave that to dry and see if I can go over the top. So, again, we've got the pale one. Oops, I didn't want to get too many pencils out because they'll be all over the floor. Uh, the medium one. And then the darker one. I think if you're working small you get away with asthma. You just got to remember not to inhale and to use them softly, I think. So you're not making too much dust. And you've got to remember to keep wiping the uh, the little blender tool. Has anybody got any questions? So that's going to be a couple of hours, but I think a couple of hours isn't so bad. Um, so I'm going to put the palest, this is the ultramarine, so I'm going to put the palest in all of these. I can work faster now because I've sorted some colours out, so I can do the butterfly. And then we can just put... the butterfly there. And then we, oops, missed a sign. And I actually do want these flat colours, so they do want to be coloured in. The next colour is the tips. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, and I did the tips there, didn't I? But never mind. There we go. And then all this wants to be kind of the paler colour and then we can put the darker one in here. Luckily that one has a little bit more of a point. As I say my daughters use these so I'm going to put that up to here. to jump down and frighten us all today. <laughs> so I'm going to smudge this one first. So that is just that bit of a warm, as it does say it's, it's ultramarine, so it will be a warmish. And the other blue is cooler because you can see that is definitely cooler. Being a bit a bit rougher now because I know roughly what I'm doing, and I'm getting used to how the how the pencils are reacting, and how the pastel's being pushed about. So I could possibly make this wing slightly darker because that one's completely open and this one isn't. So. I'm probably going to put a little bit of this down here, I think, just that little bit more. Just the tiniest little bit down there, maybe down there as well. So you can actually build colour on colour as well with these pastel pencils, so that's quite good. Um, the blending tool probably would be a little bit easier if I could find a bit a bit of a smaller one, but yeah. 
and then we need a body for the I can put the butterfly one away now so I can put the butterfly colours away move that across and do this leaf now am I going to do it the same I think I'm probably going to do it the same colour So I've got three, the three greens, so we've got the, the very pale one, and then we've got the middle one, which goes everywhere else, where there's no shading. So I think that's the easiest thing to do when you've got shading and you've got a graded scale. So you want the cross hatching, this is the darkest you want to be the darkest colour. And then where there's no shading at all, you want think, well, what's on top? So whatever the light would be hitting first needs a shadow. That needs the, the palest colour and whatever is next in between is the medium colour. And then if you very carefully blend them, I just blow the dust off them carefully and start the palest strip all the palest first because otherwise you're going to get some darkest on, on the end of your little blending tool. You start with the, the palest first. And then you can kind of work in the next colour. And then when you've worked all the next colour in, you can then go back. To the darkest. And kind of blend that in. And then just give that a little bit of, so you can see there is a lot of colour on there because it's just taking that through. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks everyone for popping in. I know people are going to be busy today. Oh dear. It's the monster time. Monster time. So I'm just going to finish this little bit off. I'm glad I got the butterfly in. Um, haven't thought about the... Uh, haven't thought about the... Uh, background so it's taken me um, about an hour oh my screen keeps going black Sorry. my screen keeps going black so I'm using me a little one on the other side and so I'm just conscious of the fact that um, I wanted to be fairly quick, but I'm actually pleased that this is this is an, an, a, a, again another way of working. So I was so worried that I would have to do the boring. Oh, I haven't got any dark on that one, have 
So we're not the dark one. Oh, this is quite nice, is this? I am again touching things twice, which most of the time I don't like, but it is very quick. I am just pushing a little bit of colour on and then pushing it around. So I can I can live with that. Most of the time I do not like going over the same place twice, really. Um, if I had a very small blending tool, I would probably be a, just a little bit quicker, but it's, the pastel is behaving itself extremely well on just thin, um, this is almost like copy paper, it's very thin this book, but this, I didn't think it would stick at all to it, but it's doing extremely well, so. I did go from dark to light there, so it might not like it. Um, I haven't got as much shading because I missed the middle one off as over here, so I'm going to go back in with the middle one. You can tell the difference and it's not the same. So if you start something, you've, you've got to keep it going. You can't just think, oh well, it'll be okay. I want to pale a bit because it looks odd. And just put a little bit more shadow in there. So again, I'm quite impressed that you can actually go back in there and give it some more colour if you want. So now this should look slightly better. Let me just clean the little blending. Just keep off the highlighted bits and blend the middle to dark and you should be fine. So again, I quite like the fact you can go back in there if you make a boo-boo or if you want to change it. A little bit more dust because I've done it twice. So I can just about get away with that, I think. I think it's about the same. <laughs> oh, Suzanne says, say Hello, my precious Alfie. Oh, bye everybody. Bye Kate and Sandy. And who else has left? I haven't said goodbye to. I have to stop my screen going off. It never did that before, but I think it's a new thing with Windows. And Shla and Dorothy, and I don't know who else we've still got with us. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I just wanted to make a, um, a video because I just wanted to get something done. So <laughs> and I was so cross that I didn't last out the, the day yesterday. So I've got this little one here to do. So I should probably just managed to put that one in. Um, and then I'll finish because I've got, so it's, it's going to take me a couple of hours. So actually that's not bad for, um, I, I don't mind spending two hours on a page. It's when it's like three and four and five hours, it's, it just gets that little bit, um, it's, it's not for me. It was when you're recording, people think it's so boring because after they've seen the first hour, it's kind of, uh, putting me to sleep job. So, uh. So I've got to just concentrate on this and then it might be murder when hubby takes the dogs out. So I'll, um, I'm just going to finish this particular section. 
um, and if you've got asthma I think you've just got to be that little bit careful um, but buy a set of one or two I'll just buy one or two colours they come in, in 12 packs of 12 these pencils have a go with them um, and then if you like them you know um, I just like the colours um, I don't particularly like the pastels but I do like the colours um, but I think after all these years of having them I think I should have started playing with them so that's why I got them out um, and I'm very impressed with them I have to say I love the colours sorry I just have to get onto that I do love the colours and this really soft blending so thank you for joining me and um, I'm going to have to call it a day I'll stop recording at least because you want a cup of tea? no thank you darling so um, that. that's the end of well just hang on a second that's the end of um, a pan out you can see what I've done I'll just zoom out whoops So you can see the little pencils there. Uh, so I do like those colours. I think they look a lot better. I hope they look all right on. But they're very, very pale. Very pale. This is almost a light mint colour. Very, very pastely pale. Um, and I think that's going to look really good in this book. You've just got to be careful that you don't get marks on them because um, I think you smudge quite well, quite easily. So that's um, the end of part one, and I'll probably do part two tomorrow of this particular page in the um, in the Bennett Klein sketchbook with my Derwent pencils um, portrait set, uh, which are very pa pastel pale colours, and they are pastel pencils. So with a little blending tool, it kind of works quite well on small spaces. So thank you for watching.